finally, I want to maybe maximize the volume of this and, and cut out a little bit of the, the muddy problematic frequencies. So I'm going to call this my mastering uh, section uh, of making the mix. Uh, because I'm just putting the f final touches, the little polish on what what I'm liking about this mix. Now, mastering is sort of one of those elusive audio arts. So, um, be because this is sort of like a one-off project, like this is there's no other songs that are going on an EP or something like that. I, I will address uh, some mastering techniques, just y processing things on my master channel here. Now, if this were going to be part of a larger project with many other audio tracks and things like that, I, I would go about the mastering process much differently. But here, the first thing that I'm going to do is use some EQ to just kind of cut out some of what I know to be some like muddy frequencies here in the middle. Uh, so the mid-range is where there's lots of overlap between all the different pieces of audio that are included in this mix. So it's common to have it sort of get cluttered in this area. So let's listen. We'll start in the middle. It's time, it's time to oh, oh, I'm going to shelf the high end just a little bit. Sounds good. Uh, and then you can tell by the meter on my master, this is a pretty quiet track at this point. So uh, I'm going to sort of maximize my volume by inserting the Pro Tools lim limiter, dropping the ceiling just under zero dB, and I'm going to start bringing down the threshold, which is going to inflate the overall sound of things. It's time to let it go. It's time, time to It's a big difference here. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. Okay, so I don't want to overdo it, and this is certainly not the genre or type of music that I would want to really brick, brick wall limit, as, as you might have heard before. I really want to push it so much, but I do just want it to be nice and full sounding. Uh, but that's why I'm not cranking it all the way. Um, you could also go back in the mix and, and push everything up a little bit, um, but this is going to kind of quickly get you where you want to be. Uh, so uh, before you export this, based on some of the things that we've done in this session uh, specifically at the end we have this like delay let's listen to the end now i like how the audio sort of changes a little bit and then we get that that echo or delay did that on purpose so <clears throat> Excuse me, that's not what I'm looking to change. What I want to point out is that because of the delay, I don't actually see audio clips over here, but it lasts. So I have to make sure that when I am going to export or bounce this mix, that I anticipate how long it really needs to go and highlight that in my timeline when I bounce. Okay, so. There you go, all the way through the mix, um, some basic mastering, and uh, just trying to make uh, this nice little piece, uh, put some polish on it, make it just sound a little bit better.